Well, thanks, Penny. I think it's really important to recognise that uh, we did learn from the Global Compact experience, and I think they would be the first uh, to admit that uh, accountability and voluntary initiatives is really important. So from the first year we introduced a, a PRI reporting and assessment process, uh, which is a self-assessment. Um, and in the first two years of this assessment, we had significant increases in self-reported activities by signatories. So it's quite difficult to uh, use it as a benchmark or a public benchmark because it's a self-assessment. So at this stage, the the initiative is uh, more like a, a learning tool for signatories to uh, see uh, how they're going against their peers uh, and against themselves from year to year. In terms of evolving, I think it's really important that it does uh, evolve into a, a robust assessment process. And one of the things we piloted this year were uh, hour-long verification calls with signatories. So, uh, and we'll be expanding that dramatically next year to ho hopefully between 100 and 150 signatories will have an hour long call. And uh, it might sound like a lot, but it's actually a, a really useful uh, and, and beneficial process to have these conversations with signatories where we actually run through if signatories say, yes, we're doing something to a large extent we just query and say, well, what do you mean by that? And then we'll just say, well, other signatories are doing this and that. And it's actually much more of a learning uh, experience than necessarily a, a, a prescriptive uh, accountability mechanism, but it does add to the validity of the whole process. I think it, it's also important that because we are in the early stages of responsible investment, that we don't want to have something that actually makes beginner signatories look bad, so we're not going to be publishing everybody's results uh, be because that will sort of invite negative judgments on those who have just signed up. Uh, we think that there's plenty of room uh, for you know, constructive learning, learning by doing through this process, uh, and it's, you know, it's an accountability mechanism with, with that balance.